Okay, now hello there, boy. My name is Kuka4545, and welcome back to Promise Center New Part. And I thought we've done the next chapter, I forgot the name of it, and we did Rose's Thorns. This is what we're gonna do Strike Force. Here we go. Stigma is now an international problem. The organization in control of the pathogen has become a global syndicate. Even the guerrilla forces stirring up trouble in Kularuma are part of their network. This organization is employing stigma as a weapon to terrorize the world. Their recent activity in Europe is particularly of concern, and those nations are on high alert. Furthermore, a base of operations was recently uncovered in Russia. Allow me to add one thing on that note. Caduceus International has dispatched a special team to Russia. They've already confirmed cases of stigma there. And within the United States, we've located another node, Kidman's Hideout. A sweep is planned for two days from now, once all necessary preparations have been made. My name is Irene Quattro. I'm the director of Caduceus. Our organization has agreed to assist in the operation. We will inspect the site for stigma, and if necessary, deal with any contamination. This is a risky operation, considering the nature of the pathogen. Please, proceed with extreme caution. I can't believe we're being sent to a Mafia hideout. It's so dangerous. And just so you know, I'm not that good of a shot either. What are you talking about? I thought we were just going to be on standby. We've been asked to investigate stigma at the scene, Leslie. We'll be entering the hideout once they've confirmed that it's safe inside. Really? Oh no, what am I going to do? What I fear is a large outbreak of stigma. We'll need to assign those patients to Marcus and the others. All right. This is an anti-stigma agent. It hinders the synthesis of nucleic acids, thereby inhibiting the growth of stigma. Needless to say, its clinical trial isn't complete. But this is an emergency. So it's like an antibiotic. Are there any side effects? It has strong nephrotoxicity. Well, we appreciate your efforts despite the less than perfect solution. However, if anything happens, it looks like we'll be relying on Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock again. Let me guess, the private sector pulled their support for research on the drug, right? Yes, unfortunately. We're not very popular at the moment. I was hoping to have Cynthia's assistance, but no one knows her whereabouts. It was bad enough she quit, but now she's missing? Hopefully, she's just taking a vacation. But we should investigate her mysterious disappearance regardless. I've asked the director to look into the matter. I doubt she'd just run off without telling anyone. I know you're worried about Cynthia, though. But tomorrow's a big day. Make sure you're ready. We're interrupting our regularly scheduled program to bring you live coverage of a shocking event. Earlier this morning, the FBI raided a Mafia hideout as part of a major investigation. The members of this crime ring are suspected of manufacturing a deadly pathogen known as stigma and are believed to be responsible for a number of recent terrorist acts. Stigma is a man-made... I'm sorry, it appears that the situation is changing as we speak. Excuse me, has someone been injured? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just received new information. Someone has been injured in the raid. I mean, that's most likely going to happen. I don't know anything about how to do a raid, but someone has to get injured. This is Guy Davidson of AN24 Network, bringing you all the details as they unfold. Apparently, the suspects are armed with both firearms and biological weapons. Which means we're going to be treating multiple patients with either gunshot wounds, or stigma. Here on the sea, tension fills the air. I believe mostly stigma. They're bringing us patients. All of them show signs of acute stigma infection. How many? Three. Three in ten minutes. So they had stigma, just like we thought. And without their boss, they're out of control. What a nightmare. Why don't they just surrender? The patients are here. Yep, three patients, probably more, 
I don't know if this is the one. 10 minutes to complete all three. All have stigma. Let's do this each different strain. Do we know what type of stigma they're infected with? Brachion and Care have been confirmed, but we're getting other reactions besides those two. I believe that they're infected with three or four different stigma. What kind of cruel joke is this? They have that many stigma inside them at once? Fortunately, Chief Cromwell's anti-stigma medication is suppressing their development, but... That only buys us some time. We need to hurry. Bring in the patients in order of the severity of their condition. We'll start operating immediately. I think Marcus would be better. Understood. The first patient is in the most severe condition and is infected with Brachion. Please get ready. Like I said, Marcus. We don't need to see any more lives taken by stigma. Start the operation. So Brachion, you know how to do this. Well then, let's do our best. Yeah, this is a close one. You know how to deal with this. I'll prepare the serum. Extract the grapplers from the ends of the arm. The toxins have been released. Control their progression with the forceps. This is going smoothly. Get ready for the arms to regenerate. On my... Treat the arms as quickly as you can. What do you think I'm doing? Toxin has been released, so you're not going to get a perfect score. Another one that's been released, so... Disappeared. That's one done. We are done treating the first patient. That's We're not good with up. that. Uh, I, that can actually be a problem, but if you're having trouble, Marcus here in touch would be better for that one. We're going rather quickly. Let's keep this up. The next patient, according to the examination results, combination of soma and care oh so we'll be dealing with two types at once what a pain let's try to keep focused i'm going to deal with one of them soma and care confirmed Yep, so I'm just gonna let that happen. If I'm multiple, uh, I have co-op can. Soma has released its cellular tissue. Now is our chance to use the laser against it. Soma's cellular tissue has split up. Please hurry and drain it. Dealing with 
dealing with the remaining care as well. Okay, let's just fuck that up. Another care has appeared. Oh. That one is created too much. Don't forget to treat them. Oh, that one is created in a cut. can't leave it alone. Yeah, I think that's just because there's a strain of... Share. Uh, this one is actually easy since it's only one now. Use the laser to incinerate it. Remaining to deal with. The next patient is the last one. Just a little more left. We're moving along much faster than anticipated. Amazing, Doctor. This is our last patient. He seems to be infected with Soma. Soma. Just Soma? Soma confirmed. Please drain it. Is it just soma? The soma tissue has dispersed. Drain it. Onyx, this wasn't detected in the examination. I think it's best to not deal with. Already the serum. I can't believe Onyx was hiding in here. No, no, that. So I'm gonna do it soon, you guys. It. I knew there was another one, but I just... Just a little more. Look. That was weird. I have no idea where he went. There we go. Now I can do this. Sona. The onyx is gone. The Sona is still present. It's still not over. Like they've successfully gained control of the hideout. Let's finish this operation too. Amazing! Those were incredible operations. Yeah, I forgot. But I should have remembered. I knew there was something weird that about that last one, but I just didn't know. I don't know what that last one is. Uh, probably a max chain. 
Mm, stick on the neighbor. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that the FBI has gained control of the hideout. We've also learned that the individuals believed to be injured were in fact infected with stigma. But at this point, they've all been treated by the on-scene medical team. What you're seeing now are the suspects who have been arrested and are being taken away. That's right, folks. The members of the mafia have been arrested. Among them, I see a man who appears to be a scientist of some sort. Where are you taking me? Doctor, look! Professor Wilkins! That face! Marcus, it's definitely the professor. So he was behind this. Hmm. I have time for one more. Let's do it. Nah, fuck it. Yes, the scar on Wilkins' head was exactly what we thought it was. An electronic device has been embedded in his brain, as you can see in this picture. That explains the change in behavior. Yes. But how was he able to conduct Kidman's stigma research? I mean, with that thing controlling his brain. It's like being under hypnosis. He could be manipulated by the power of suggestion, but he still retained his intelligence. So, is it possible to change him back to normal? And is an operation necessary? His family would like us to try. The authorities have also consented. They want to hear his testimony in his normal state. I believe it's possible, if the device can be removed without damaging his brain. Dr. Vaughn, I'd like to hear your opinion. I... I think we should give it a shot. For the... Then, we should start considering the obstacles we'll face while performing the surgery. Dr. Everett, I'll let you know the time and the place once we've given this more thought. Yes, ma'am. There is one last question I'd like to raise, though. It may have occurred to you already, but I don't blame you for not mentioning it. Who was able to perform such a difficult operation? We'll be performing brain surgery on you, Professor. I'd be lying if I said it was going to be easy, but it's necessary to return you to your normal self. I don't think he can hear you, Dr. Vaughn. I'm a doctor, and this is my patient. He deserves an explanation. Is he even aware that his name is Wilkins? Maybe you should address him as director. That would be defeating the purpose, Val. Professor, if you know the name of the surgeon who operated on you, can you please tell me? Otherwise, we'll have to make our diagnosis during the operation. Do you despise me, Professor? After all, if I hadn't discovered stigma, then none of this would have occurred. And you wouldn't be in this condition. If only I'd done things differently. You are mistaken. Stigma was destined to be born from the very beginning. It matters not who was responsible for its discovery. We are blessed to have witnessed such a marvelous creation. Professor? Can you not imagine the possibilities of the next generation of stigma? It searches for a way to coexist within the human body, and I intend to grant its wish. What are you saying? This isn't the professor. It may be his body, but there's something else inside of him. Brain surgery. I'll explain the situation. This operation's objective is the removal of a number of plugs from an implant in the professor's brain. Mark, I see you in touch with your belly and valves. This complex device releases a weak electrical current that can modify a person's personality. The plugs transmit that current to a specific section of nerves in the brain. I can't believe that Kidman and his group were capable of creating something like this. Nor can I. This isn't a device that can be handled with the equipment we've seen in their possession. Needless to say, it would require advanced equipment as well as skill to implant something like this. Extracting the plugs will be a difficult task, but I've told Elena the operational procedure. This goes without saying, but working on the brain carries great risk. You must work with the utmost care to prevent minimal after effects to the professor's brain. That's what I have in mind. We must succeed with this operation. A device like that, it shouldn't exist. Please prepare for the procedure. We can't make any mistakes. Let's begin the operation. Well, let's begin the operation. To begin with, 
We'll work on the actual implant itself. Before we can remove the plugs from the implant, we need to put the device into sleep mode. Use the forceps to pull out the three chips in the center. Do not let the chips touch this. I'm told that doing this will cause part of its functions to be suspended. But please be careful not please place it in the tray. The first chip acts the, the next chip. This is the last chip. Now, let's move on to extracting the plugs. The affected area is over here. These five plugs are supposedly sending special signals into the professor's brain. You when uh, these will light up. Uh, one of them. And you don't want to take the ones that light up. I don't know if it will kill the patient. I don't know where it instantly kill the patient, but do not do it. If we remove all five of them, the implant will stop having an effect on his personality. What are these lights on the ends of the plugs? It seems that they light up when they receive signals from the main system. Because of the modifications we made to the implant earlier, the transmission signal is cutting out. Please pull out each plug while its light is off. Be sure to pull it in the pits out. The first plug has been removed. Please move on to the second one. Pull it out care now place it box the third one. Please make sure to pull it out in the right direction. This is the last now put it in the Good. That's all the plugs. As you can see the health went down significantly because I made one mistake. The brain is hard. We've disabled the personality disruptor. Can we just leave it alone? The device is in an unstable condition and it's apparently dangerous to leave it as it is now. Oh yeah. What's with this? All we have to do now is place the chips we removed back into the center. But we have to put them in while avoiding those moving things? Yes. That will be the case. Like I said, if you're having trouble with this, Marcus is here in touch would be the best right now. We're in no position to stop right now, but still. Now, doing this, I'm gonna try and do it without it because I think it get more points. Place that chip in the center. Don't let go until you Shit. move it into the center. Yeah, you don't want it to touch because. That's the first one. Please be careful, doctor. Be careful. The vitals. Like I said, insta death. I'll take over from here. For Doctor Vaughn and. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Please be careful. What? 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 That's too down. What? <laughs> it was following me. This is the last one. There we go. That one was following. <laughs> Great work. All steps of the operation have been completed. I hope that this will return the professor to normal. We'll just have to wait until he regains consciousness and see for ourselves. That, if, like I said, if you have the most difficulty, Marcus is in touch will be the best for it. Especially that one which decided to be a man for it. Uh, third stage probably defeated, uh, completed in a different time. Hey, let me take it. Where am I? He's awake. Is he back to his usual self? I see the operation was a success. I'm glad I didn't fall victim to my creation. To stigma. Professor? His memory has reverted back to when we operated on him at Concordia. Marcus, I've decided to take your advice and stop researching stigma. I had a dream. Actually, it was more like a nightmare. So I'm terminating the project. I think that's best. You're not going to tell him the truth, Marcus? It's not for me to say. It's the director's decision. Good. You're all still here. You could have just paged us. That's okay. I'm sure you're all tired from the surgery. I apologize for the short notice, but there will be another meeting tomorrow. We'll be discussing the international investigation of the Stigma Syndicate. Doctors from the other Caduceus branches will be present. I'm concerned about the professor's condition, but I'll try to make time for it. There's one other thing you should know, just so you aren't taken by surprise. One of the topics on tomorrow's agenda concerns Cynthia. How so? She's in Central Asia, Caucasus to be precise, and she appears to be there on behalf of the Syndicate. What? 
Dun, dun, dun. I will see you guys when we tackle Weapon Depot. Depot. Fuck. In the next video. Goodbye.